So for today, we're going to be looking at these seasonal challenges for week three. If you guys don't know, we usually look at these seasonal challenges plus Eververse. So that way, those who are away from their screen has, have an idea of what not only Eververse is selling, but what they can do for seasonal challenges once they get home. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, let's look at the actual things. So the longest path complete week three of We Stand Unbroken quest. This is not hard. Just do the campaign, which is not hard at all. It's just... What was it complete the new activity that we have which is just basically a new battleground and i think do another battleground in the playlist and i think gain 20 favor and that was it so it's not hard it's just like i literally killed it like within 20 30 minutes maybe and that's because you had to just do another battleground as well so not a lot we also get a really cool cutscene, so that was really cool uh bane of shadow legion uh use abilities to defeat combatants and define play uh battlegrounds playlist Defeating combatants with stasis with oh I'm sorry combatants with strand subclass will grant bonus progress. This is me using void, so I already almost completed it on the subclass that I don't get bonus. So again, that was just two right there. So if you use strand, you guys will most likely just complete this. Uprooted nightmare, uh complete each encounter in the root of nightmares raid. So this is funny because like I have not only have I completed the raid, but I have the day one raids or day one emblem raid. So like I should have completed this, but you know, it doesn't work that way. So you just have to redo a, a raid, which is not hard. I'm going to literally do one like in four minutes. So I'm probably going to get this like immediately defiantly defeated defeat combatants with season of defiance weapons. These are basically all the weapons that we got from the season pass or from the seasonal activities and stuff. Uh, you also get a free one after you complete the longest path. So if you don't have any, which is weird, then you will get one. Uh, EDZ activities in the EDZ earn pro progress by completing bounties, patrols, public events, and lost sectors. I would probably tell you to do, complete some bounties and uh, switch between doing patrols and lost sectors. I like to do lost sectors just because they're really fast, especially the EDZ ones. But once I go back upstairs to like reset the lost sector, I usually like to do a bounty or a patrol just so I can like not feel like as bored kind of like to spice it up but yeah this one shouldn't take too long commendation appreciation earn progress by giving commendations in vanguard crucible and gambit activities this is probably gonna suck um but i mean at this point like, we're, you're gonna be playing iron banner you're gonna be playing all the other stuff so this one might not be as annoying depending on how much you have to do but we'll see uh prime evil entourage defeat taken in gambit earn bonus progress for defeating tougher combatants not hard at all uh i will most likely be completing this within the week because i just i do gambit iron shape sharpens iron complete iron banner matches um, earn bonus progress for wins not hard just play iron banner um yeah I, I just play iron banner i know people are gonna be like i don't want to play iron banner it's not that crazy like it's not that deep come on uh, ultimate champion defeat champions in nightmare strike on hero difficulty or higher on earn bonus progress at higher difficulty tiers um we're gonna look at which one which well, which nightfall it is so that way we can see if it's a good one or a bad one depending on if there's like an early champion so you can cheese this essentially kind of uh, mid-range calibration calibrate mid-range weapons hand cannons auto rifles glaives fusion rifles and machine guns in the edz bonus progress for rapidly defeating combatants not hard you can definitely combine this with the easy edz activities so that way you can complete these two at the same time or damn near and then uh or what were we looking oh nightfall also the uh the things here the legend lost sector so it is right there just in case some of you were curious what is the nightfall very good one uh neo ooh, hypernet i actually don't know if there's any like champions in the beginning uh if there is then it's gonna be easy cheese because you can just kill the champion die and then reset uh but i would just tell you to run the hero of difficulty just because you do get gear or you do you do get exotic gear you, there it is uncommon but you do have a chance but more so for like the enhancement cores, the enhancement prisms, um, nightfall weapons also really cool. Although like for me, I, I rarely get uh, not exotic gear or nightfall from hero legend. It always has to be like master or higher. So that way I can actually feel like, oh wow, I got something. 
So that's pretty cool. As for Eververse, oh my God. So Eververse is selling oiled gunmetal, which is a really good shader. I definitely recommend this shader for people because it is a good, hold on, I have to. Oiled gunmetal is such a good shader. I really, really love this shader. So good black, not only that, it also goes really well with some sh with some guns, just turns it completely black, which is why I love that shader. Uh, we have Seven Sisters, which is a pretty good shader. I'm personally not a big fan of it, but you do get this like uh, starry like effect, which is pretty cool. We also have the Vitreous Entrance. We have Surging Current and Vehement Flock. And for the stuff at the bottom, we have the Knight's Elegy, which is Elegy, Elegy, I don't know. It's cool. I definitely won't get it because it's essentially just a reshader with uh, some ornaments added in. Uh, Velo Velocimancer, I think that's how you say that, which looks okay. We have Motive Force. I love this, this uh, Sparrow. It's one of my favorite Sparrows for a Cabal theme, which is on my Titan. We have Aoki Fast Shell, which... It looks stupid. Uh, my 10 gallon hat. And stress ball. As for the shaders, Whispered Sheen is available. Definitely pick this one up. It is such a banger of a shader. I highly recommend this shader. Uh, Royal Treatment, also really good shader. Very good purple shader as well. Um, Smudge Pop Bruise, also really good shader. I actually really do like this shader. The only thing that's unfortunate is that the plate armor will have like, like bungee items or not items, icons. So just be aware of that. And then Copper Tone or yeah, Copper Tone Patina, not a favorite. Definitely not like this one. It's going to be Whisper Sheen. That's like a really, really good shader, really good brown, uh, wood texture as well. And then uh, Royal Treatment, also a banger like these two. I'm going to be making videos on these two. So that way people are aware that these two are being sold because they're really good. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What are you guys going to be picking up? Which challenges are you excited for? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for coming up to this point. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.